Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? I hope all you are fine. Today we will learn that how to use Excel, how to draw a table in Excel, how to format the table in Excel. So um, first of all, I will tell you Excel is an application software designed to, uh, designed to draw the salary sheets, worksheets, uh, result cards, uh, and many more sheets where we are going to apply many formulas, many designings of the worksheet. Today we will uh, learn all this about. You can see that now I have uh, created this sheet. Um, open your Excel from your computer. You see that I have not saved this one file, so it is mentioned here in you know, book one. First of all, I will save this file. You save this file from here. You can save this file from here. Just press save, uh, save from here, or con press Control S from the keyboard. Now write the name of the file. Activity one. I have created the folder of activities. I, here I will write activity one. Activity one. I will save the file now. Now you can see that the name of my file is here. My name of my file is activity one. Okay, uh, guys, you see that all the vertical lines are labeled as A, B, C, D, and these are called the columns. All the horizontal lines are labeled as one, two, three, four, five, and so on. These are called the rows. Both rows. Columns and rows make the cell address. For example, if I am going to click here, this box is highlighted. The address of this cell is D9. The address of this cell is B4. Uh, you can also see in this formula bar, the address of this cell is uh, displayed here. If I am going to click here, the address of this cell is D6, column number D, row number six, and also it is displayed in this formula bar. The, uh, both I mean to tell you the both the column number and the row number make the cell address. Okay, now we will create a table. Let's we will create a table, huh? We will create a table consisting of few rows and columns. Suppose that we have selected these rows and columns. Go to home, select from the borders or borders. And also now we can change the size of the columns from here. Select the columns from the upper bar. Go to column width. We can change its size about 10. No, about 10 is too less. We will change again. Column width about 20. Okay. Similarly, we will change the size. If we are going to change, we can change the size of uh, columns in this way also. But we want to keep the size of all the columns same size then you will select all the columns and then you can change the uh, column column width similarly if you want to change the uh, height of any row you can select from here also to change the height of the row but if you want to keep the row height same in all rows then you select all the rows right click here then click on row height change its height uh, about uh, 15 15 is too low, we are going to select maybe 30, 30. So this is okay, 30 is okay. Now see that we will write here, column width area. Okay, once I will look for the table, length one, two, three, okay, length width. Okay, here we will write the numbers. For example, number is written here. One, two, three, four, five. We will move these two rows, just select them. And again, go to the home bar, click home, click again this. We will make it to no border, okay? Just we will select uh, area formula again. We will select this. Go to home bar and select from here no borders. Again, we will reorder it. Reorder it. Home. Then we will go to all borders. Okay. We will. We can change the size of writings. We can change the size of writings from here. We are going to select like twenty. So you can see that and also select center. 
center okay uh, and then uh, now you can change the writing style as you want for example if this one is okay okay we will choose this okay here you write the length width width here you will write area area okay you can change the size of this if uh, we can change from here if you want to increase the column width you can increase from here as well similarly we can increase the row heights from here enter now we will enter any data into the table see I want to increase the size so you can see the data entered easily into the table 23 12 or again 10 again 20 similarly we will enter the width uh, 30 or if we are going to write 15 12 we are going to write again for example 30 okay now we will apply the formula over here how to apply the formula uh, first of all you make your uh, concept clear whenever we will click here the address of that specific cell is displayed on this bar you can see here the value is displayed here the address of that cell, uh, cell is displayed here you can see this bar okay i'm going to apply the formula i will write here equal to equal to i have to find the area what is the uh, how we will find the area we can find the area by multiplying the length and width so length is written here what is the formula here what is the address of this cell is i want to write the address of this cell just click here or write the address from the table it is b2 again you press the asterisk sign from your keyboard or write the address of this one cell uh, on where i have written the 30 it is c2 or just click here automatically it is written now you can see that it is calculated again i am going to click here the formula of this cell is b2 multiply by c2 b2 multiply by c2 okay i can uh, want to increase the size of this text you can change again from hmm. this one okay okay similarly i have applied formula in one cell, uh, cell i can drag this formula to all the remaining cells just see that first see the formula what is what was the formula you will write the formula starting from with the equal sign b2 multiply by c2 when you have multiplied you need to write the formula only in one uh, cell next you drag it just you drag it formula automatically will be applied in all the cells here you can see that we will if we write the formula we will multiply b3 multiply by c3 automatically we have dragged the formula which is written b3 c3 it is written b4 c4 in the formula bar you can see here if i click here in the formula you can see here b5 c5 so in the similar way we can apply the formula in one cell and we can drag this cell and uh, drag this formula to all the remaining cells okay if you also can add the rows insert the rows for example you want more rows insert similarly i've inserted two rows similarly you can insert the rows and the columns by clicking here you can insert the columns or you can select just uh, you can select the columns here i am going to merge these cells merge this cell table to find the area of rectangle okay 
So just select this cell or you can choose any lighting style and size. You can change its color from room, change its color from room, any attractive color, huh? Attractive color. You can change its color. Similarly, you can change its writing style from here. Change its writing style. Okay, this one we have written. So we have created a table to find the area of a rectangle where length and width are given. We have applied the formula in one cell and then we drag it in the remaining cell, remaining cells of this Excel sheet. Thank you. Uh, I hope so. Kya apko ye activity samajh aayi hogi aur uh, open your computers now and practice it. Uh, this activity, enjoy this activity. Thank you. Allah peace.